Are you looking to buy a cheap chainsaw? Well, today we are testing two chainsaws, one from Aldi and one from Amazon. So we're gonna put it in hardwood and softwood and we're gonna use it in a real life situation. We're gonna check the weights and also the big question is, what are the parts and the backup service like on these products? Tested by Machinery Nation. From Aldi, we have the Shapatch with its 56cc engine producing 2.3 kilowatts of power. Wielding a 20 inch bar and chain, comes with a three year warranty and costs 99 pounds. And from Amazon, we have the Buku with its 65cc engine producing 2.8 kilowatts of power. It sports a 20 inch bar and chain, but also comes with a one year warranty and costs £119.99. It is supplied with a 16 inch bar and a spare chain and a safety kit. So we have filled up these saws with petrol and oil and now we're going to do the weight test. Yes, this is going to be the true weight that you are going to be holding when using the saw. And first up, we've got the Shapak from Aldi, with the help of a cable tie, obviously. We've got 7.45 kilos. That's a big, That is, that is quite weighty, isn't it? <laughs> that is weighty. But then it is, this one is 56cc, so... Yeah. Right, and I have got the Buco. This is 65cc, so it's a bigger saw, more power, hopefully. And that's weighing in at 6.99 Six. kilos. So that's a little yeah, bit lighter. Lighter. Yeah. Is that just because it's the same cylinder and they bored it out more? Maybe. <laughs> Could well be. More plastic. Right, let's do some more cutting. <laughs> right, so let's get to some cutting. We've got a lovely bit of 10 inch softwood here, and we're going to run up the Shapash. Shapak. 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 We've got it right. Right, Joshy, on your cut. You want me to go, do you? Yeah, Josh cut one cut and then I'll cut the next cut and we'll do the same in a minute with some big hardwood. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Right, now it's time for the Buco, and as it's nearly the end of October, the Buco might give Josh a bit of a shock, but you never know. I was thinking more <laughs> of the San Buco. San Buco. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's warm her up. I just want to say that these have all been tuned. We've tuned them prior to the video, and we've let them run for about 20 minutes just to bed them in a little bit. So for all you people out there who are worried that we don't do that, we've already done it. I'll go around a bit more. Yeah, eat your dinner off that. Softwood test done. Now time for the big bit of hardwood. Time now for the shipack. Oh yes, the Aldi chainsaw to go through this big bit of timber. Can it do it? Let's find out. Right, Josh, you up first, and then I'll have a go. Three, two, one, go, Josh! <laughs>
So now it is the Amazon special, the Buco chainsaw through the hardwood. Let's see how it performs. Three, two, one, go! Impressive. Come on then, James. Ready? Three, two, one. Cut away. Oh. Come on, Jeff Bezos. God, you made a good four here. Oh. He's right, I see. <laughs> That. For the sake of 20 quid <laughs> difference. <laughs> Actually, not bad little saw that. <laughs> Right, so we proved they can cut wood. Albeit a bit slowly. That is very true. Yeah, they're not the fastest saws in the world, but they do cut it, they do cut it. Mm. I think the all important thing is now, let's say you're down the road, you know, a few months on, a few years on, what's spare parts back up like, or what's their warranty like? So let's mm. go and see what that's all Impression. about. Let's try and find the most common replacement spare part, a recoil starter. Can we find one for the Shepatch? Type it into Google, and we see lots of options come up. Click on eBay, and that is definitely the wrong one. Let's try another site, and that's also the wrong one. Okay, let's try the same with the Buco. Type it into Google, and exactly the same. Lots of options, but nothing for this exact saw. We've seen this many times with cheaper machines, where there are so many options and nothing stands out to be the right one. So, you order one that you think is right, only to be disappointed when it turns up. You could take it to a machinery dealer to see if they can help. The answer will probably be, sorry, we don't get involved with products from the cheaper end of the market. The reason they don't is due to the amount of time they would be spending trying to find the spare parts compared to the margin that they'd probably make from the product. So don't get us wrong, you might find the exact spare part that you were looking for, but if history has taught us anything, finding spare parts for the cheaper style of machines is hard work and even more frustrating. So that's two reasonably powerful budget saws that we could find, one from Amazon and one from Aldi. What's your thoughts on the Shepak? Well, cheap and cheerful. It is cheap and it cheerful. It cuts logs. I mean, the stuff down in the field we're cutting that oak, that was quite reasonable stuff as well. It so It was not the it, hardest of it, because no, it's been down quite a while. It was coping with it, but you needed a bit more, didn't you? Yeah. And I mean, I think that's where a branded chainsaw, the technology that's involved with it, it's just going to give you that raw power. And we did both notice one really negative thing about yeah, this. Sort. Which actually, when it comes to it, and we talk about cheapy products, you have the safety side of things is paramount. Yeah, it is. And we did find with this one, the chain brake kept catching and, yeah. and popping itself on. Which is designed to do that. 
that. You know, yeah. Chain brakes are designed if something happens suddenly that you're not expecting. The chain brakes designed to come on. That chain brake came on probably five, it was almost six too, times too while I was using it. Wasn't it? Yeah, it's it too sensitive, yeah. and it takes a little bit more to warm up that saw mm. than it did on any other one. But the Buco. The Buco, I mean, I mentioned to James when we were cutting logs, if someone was to hand two budget chainsaws to you, that is a lot of saw for the money, to be honest. <laughs> it really it's a lot is. of saw for money. And we both yeah. said, I quite like that, actually. Yeah, it's actually quite fun you know, to use. You know, yeah. and most of the time when we pick up something, you know, it's we wouldn't like, say that at all. But, think, you know, uh, the is, handle's horrible on it. It's yeah. got a horrible grip handle. It is 62cc, so it is going to be a bit more bit powerful, powerful than this one, but yeah. it coped with everything we chucked at it. it did, and did. yeah, it, it seemed reasonable. It started well. Did the start, recall yeah. assembly on it was really soft. Yeah. And, and nice. it sounds quite nice. It does. Although it's loud, it just sounds, bah, 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 bah. you know, if you like engines, you like noises, that is the one. That, twin. I think that's what it is. The twin we'll port. call it a twin port chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need a muff model on that one, mate. But there you go. And obviously, from Amazon, so you're going to get it next day. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think ours was quite next day, but <laughs> If you are. pay seven ninety nine yeah. or eight ninety nine a month or whatever it is. <laughs> Come on, go. Jeff Bezos. <laughs> sort it out. <laughs> but yeah, no, good little saw for the money. But I think it all boils down to that, you know, if you want a budget saw that just has this disposable chainsaw, perhaps you're only going to use it once or twice, mm -hmm. then fine. Yeah. It's not going to, you yeah. know, you're not going to lose anything really. But if you want something that's going to last, you're going to sit in your garage and use it once or twice a year and you want to go back to it and have the reliability, yeah. I probably wouldn't recommend either. No. no. If I'm honest. No, no. But just for a one-off disposable saw and fine yeah. but probably the the buco the buco over the and we do like red and pack. black stuff thank you very much for watching we're machinery nation please let us know if there's anything you'd like us to review pop it in the comments remember subscribe to our channel like this video and we'll keep bringing you loads of content that's right thank you very much for watching we'll see you in the next one cheerio see ya